you can't see the difference between you. Ooh! Damn. Still dropping that was pearls. Whoa! The wisdom. Who wrote that line? Kenya. Yo, I'm Kendra. We're twins. We love to watch. And this is our reaction to What If, Episode 6, Killmonger Rescue Tony Stark. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Let me tell you what happened. <laughs> We're not gonna hold you. We're not gonna hold, not you. Gonna hold you. But we, we see y'all in the comments. Um, where y'all at? Dude, you missing this episode? You missing that episode? When you gonna post another reaction? And first off, thank you uh, for engaging with our content and anticipating our content. That makes us feel really great that we are missed when we're gone. Secondly, sorry for taking so long to get this content out to you. Um, we sort of had a little dilemma. Uh, things really got backlogged when we were working really hard on our Shang-Chi review. We really wanted to do something special with and that. And life. And life. We have yeah, jobs. You know, day jobs. <laughs> we have jobs, that kind man. Of thing. Shang-Chi took up a lot of extra time that we would have been filming and editing uh, our what if videos and the like. And then our friends came into town and uh, we went on a staycation with our friends because we were burnt out a little bit. And we thought we could do some editing and uploading while we were on vacation, but that just didn't work out. Um, so we just left it alone until the month of October, which we are in now. Power binge! Yeah! yeah! The power binge is among us. If you like what you see, please like our video. It really helps our channel out. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you have subscribed by the time you're done watching this video and that you have your notifications turned on so you don't miss an upload from us. Um, and so let's get into these episodes of What If That We've Missed, starting with episode six. What if Killmonger rescued uh, Tony Stark? Mm. I'm looking forward to this one. This Ooh. is gonna be interesting. Yeah, all right. I just wanna see Killmonger again. Like, I'm happy. <laughs> Okay, let's watch. Hey, watch your boots. Hi. Been a while. Every journey has a beginning, but change one step. Oh, just all up in our face no, today, right? And you could end up at a very different destination. The cool the one that started it yes. all. Please, no gang signs. No, throw it up. Okay. Yeah, peace. I love peace. I'd be out of a job with peace. I mean, well, he probably would have died. Wow, I'm just like, how did he happen to find himself? Look at that hair, though. Look at that hair, though. Spectacular entrance, seriously. It was. Mm. Lieutenant Killmonger? What is that, German? A nickname. Killmonger? Yeah, what's your afternoon like? <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. Heroes are not bored. They're forged in darkness. Did he just happen to be out there? Was he on mission? Like, somebody tell me. I uncovered plans to assassinate Tony Stark while in a deep cover operation inside the Ten Rings. Oh, he was in the Ten Rings? I love this animated Killmonger. Oh boy, he looks handsome. Right. Oh, Chief Ooh. Security changed shit already. Got it on the Oh, Yo, he just fucking snitched on Obadiah. He bought those receipts, though. <laughs> he did it in front of the press. Of course he did. Let's fucking kill Monga. You son of a security! All in all, I'd say he's done pretty good for a kid from Oakland. I mean, what's your concern, I mean, other than the killer? Part? A lot of people come around looking to get their moment in the sun with Tony Stark. And it's my job to sniff up exactly what it is they want with him. And what do you smell? Nothing. And that's the problem. 
everyone wants something. I developed plans for automated combat drone. Oh, he is smooth AF. Because you didn't have me. Let's do this. Playing Stark like a freaking fiddle. You saved my life. I'd like to return the favor. Project. He's gonna roll up on Wakanda. Watch. Oh shit. Uh, well, design choice. It's a transformer. Worst case scenario, we'll end up with that's like anime. Start casing the warehouse. We're gonna need FPV wiring, nano circuitry. That's a meme come to life yeah. right there. Human pilots being human Woo! This no dude is building a mech suit. <gasps> oh my hey. god, he's building a mech. Hey, if we could miniaturize an arc reactor. Just like that. No, that's what we need is vibranium. With the right juice, it can act as a self sustaining energy source. Yeah. Now you're going to stick with the arc reactor. The last of it during the war. Not all. Damn, you don't use your pops ring? Where did you get this? This kind of stuff pops up all over the world. You just gotta have the right hook. I might have just the guy. I might have to find time. But maybe we know the Americans get down in the back of the line someday. Can't clean up the world without getting your hands dirty. Oh, that's Brody, that don't that's sound that's right. That's Even for you, fam. Oh, Whatever, it's realistic. It's the military. Please. Please. So, about that vibranium. <laughs> Okay. Zoop, 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 zoop. Ah, all right, all right, all right. Hey! Oh, I missed him. Ooh, yeah, I missed him. I did too. Oh, T'Challa. This. This. Feel it. Why? Better question. Why wear the uniform of your own oppressors? Kid, you gotta be part of the system. You sound like a, a fool. The system. Nah, I mean, you can burn it down. <gasps> <gasps> no, not Rhodey! You? You never lifted a finger in your life. What, you gonna ask Pepper to come and kill me? Yeah, probably not, but there's no need. I melted down that ring of yours. Oh, you get right, the shit. This is that shit from fucking Robocop. You have 90 seconds to comply. 60 seconds. Your moves are his moves. I guess I'll have to freestyle it. Okay, at least we got the shirt off. Oh, um, wait. You what happened? for a kill. Believe it or not, Tony, I was really hoping you wouldn't make the cut. For a minute, I really thought it was you and me against the world. We're not fighting the same battle, Tony. Uh, two gearhead orphans We're trying to do right by our fathers. No, it's no. sounds the same to me. No. The difference between you and me. Uh, and you can't see the difference between you. Ooh, me. Damn. still dropping that was pearls. Whoa, the wisdom. Who wrote that line? Mm -hmm. They won a war, so that's what we'll give them. Put the Liberator drones into production. Okay, hold on. That'll require a multi-billion dollar allocation. The board will need to be consulted. The Patriot Act should cover the red tape. The U.S. military is still by seizing wow. control while Stark what? Industries assets. What? Commentary we getting you here? You joking. No one has ever accused me of being funny, Miss Potts. <laughs> We're at war. You work for me now. Wow, see? American government bureaucracy. Bullshit. <laughs> Damn, Killmonger. Everyone's like, oh my god, Killmonger, I love him. But then you see him get his shit, what he wanted. You see him get what he wanted, and then you're like, oh, I'm trying to love him that much. Wakanda. I found you, man. Hey, hey, boy. Come on, let me Not looking to meet the business end of one of their spears, if you know what I mean. You might, you might, you might just. Thanks. Thanks for that, at least. Well, the door at the border this time. Girl, I guess I shouldn't. You have the eyes of your father. He used to tell me stories about you, about watching this the is so cool. with his brother. I shared the same story with my own son. 
Who you killed? I spent my whole life searching for my own. Rest easy, nephew. You, I hope. Mm -hmm. But there's no time to rest, Uncle. War is here. Why should we trust you with our people's lives? I know what it's like to have someone taken from me. And if I had the chance to avenge my father, I wouldn't hesitate. That boy playing These chess. These people murdered your son. Even if there's only a chance, I'm legit. Isn't it worth the risk? Mm -mm. What say you, General? Oh shit, we gonna get Queen Ramonda? Oh shit! She's the fucking general? Yo! I don't like nothing about this. I don't, like I don't this. either. I don't fucking like, I like, like this, bro. I don't fucking like this. Yeah, you can't trust Killing Walker. Uncle, close the shields. Shuri, you're smarter than he is. What the hell is going on? Some kind of interference. It's working. You're right. Thank you, nephew. You've made your uncle and father proud. I only oh, wish to serve the country. I want the brother and you join me in celebrating tonight. That is impossible. The drone should be disconnected. Tony Stark. He must have built a backup transmitter. Why would they do that? That man was a villain. Didn't trust anyone. Talk about yourself, fam. Wakanda! Forever! Is he trying to position himself as a hero? Yeah. see them fighting together even though it's all a manipulation. <laughs> yeah. Wakanda forever! Oh my god, no! Don't make me cry! What's up, Watcher? We're just gonna let that happen. It's an alternate universe. You know, get over it. You shall oh, become yeah. the next. Okay. Man, if I was sure, I'd be salty as fuck. That's cool. That's not good. Was it worth it? My cousin. Yeah, I did what I had to do. Power and hand can be a very volatile force, cousin. It will get the best of you eventually. On your plane oh, no. or on ours. He killed Tony. And your brother? How did you get this? Mr. Stack was a genius, but he's not the only genius. It appears we had a common enemy. Unfortunately, your side and mine refused to see it. So, let us open their eyes together. Heroes are never really gone. They live forever. This is interesting. This isn't and the end, is it? Once they inspire to carry on the fight. These things are ending on what I would classifies cliffhangers more and more. but it was very intriguing to see the way that Killmonger's mind works a little bit more about the way that his mind works and I was able to read a little bit um, of him in the comics written by Tiny Easy Coates and Black Panther is certainly um, a very intriguing character but so is Killmonger and so I'm glad that we got this other glimpse of his journey had he not been thwarted by T'Challa. To see him pair with Tony Stark and to see how someone like Killmonger could could manipulate a genius like Tony Stark, who obviously <laughs> knows machines, knows you know uh, weapons, knows technology, but doesn't seem to quite have a grasp on people. I think that's always been true about him, but this episode definitely, definitely proved it to me. Um, and one of the reasons why Tony Stark as a hero for me, I don't know, he's not my favorite. Yeah, that that was a 
touching the gray area. I've always been a Captain America girl, and then when Black Panther came along, I was a Black Panther girl, and um, the pure of heart, man. Oh, Not even so much as pure of heart because, because you know, they are both human beings, just like Tony Stark is a human being, but their integrity was a lot less gray. Like, and Tony fought throughout his whole arc with himself and his own sort of integrity and his um, own selfish instincts. And, you know, he, he, he did have a lot of instincts. Some of them were right, but you know, his arc was definitely one of fighting against his natural instinct to do things that would benefit himself. So, Killmonger is definitely a chess player, very smart. The way he went about this was definitely different from the film in that he didn't just wage all-out war against his own people, but he manipulated his people he manipulated the in fuck order out of to them. position himself in power. Unfortunately, he did kill T'Challa in order to get to that point. He had. He felt like he had to. So, yeah. I mean, did you notice? I also kind of noticed. Um, you can just tell where Chadwick Boseman was in his. Yeah, his voice was. His voice. Um, but uh, it, it it was good to see and hear him again. Unfortunately, he died in this episode. So that was a little. That hit my heart a little bit more than the other episodes did. I actually, in the in the live action, in the movie, I didn't really have as much... I did have empathy for Killmonger, but I wasn't on his side of the fence when it came to his argument as much as I was the child's side of the fence, ultimately. But this episode, I'm definitely teetering over towards his side of things. I don't agree with how he decided to get power in order to achieve his goals, um, but... His, his methods outside of killing T'Challa were just a little bit easier to stomach for me, I guess. <laughs> um, and I'm sorry, Tony Stark stands, you know, Tony's Tony. And I, I thought it was leave. interesting that Killmonger <laughs> seemed to take issue with what Rhodey was saying about destroying the system from the inside, when that's pretty much exactly what Killmonger did. He destroyed the system from the inside. From the inside, he got on Tony Stark's good side. He became Tony Stark's head of security. He infiltrated Tony Stark's business. He gained his trust. He played the part. He code switched. So I what think, the fuck I do you kill? What are you, you killing Rhodey for? I think Rhodey. Rhodey means more like I mean, I know, I know he means more like changing obviously. systems or um, rules, regulations, laws. That kind of thing, like government um, yeah. for change. I get and Killmonger is like, no, espionage. That's cute, but I also want to like literally rip this place apart from the inside. Yeah, that is the conundrum. How long are we supposed to wait for like things to actually change for the better for everyone? Forever? Is it gonna be forever? Are we gonna wait? Are we gonna be waiting for? At ever? some point, I or feel are like... we gonna? Or, or are there gonna be more Killmongers? ready and willing to destroy the system from the wow. inside. I'm saying that's the question that the episode that's seems that's to that's be. That's yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of um cuz it's generational. It's, it's it really is. I was I was going to say the generations coming behind us are definitely getting more They ready. More, they put their they they're ready. They're tired of the shit. <laughs> like they're, <laughs> yeah. they're, they're starting to We're get still more trying to do extreme. everything the, the proper way and the correct right. way. Oh, um, bold so, and so you know, but and and, and also they're going to inherit the world so they are the ones who are going to shape its future. Uh, you know, you can look at that either way you want to. But let's not get political. All in all, this was a really good episode. It uh, was very intriguing, and um, the animation, of course, was really great. Killmonger looks beautiful. Everybody looked beautiful. Freaking Ramonda, Okoye. Yeah, the animation is. is Sherry's really animation good. in and every episode younger, kind of threw me off a little bit, but you know. Yeah, so, great episode. So, if you guys like what you see, please make sure you like our video. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe because we're going to be reacting to so much more coming at you very soon. Um, and leave a comment down below and let us know what you thought about this episode and Killmonger's uh, his 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 scheme in mind. What, what do you guys think about this shit? It, it was a really nice glimpse into the way yeah, he's gonna be in the he sequel too. infiltrates and plays... Um, um, some of that seeped into the, into the sequel. How the hell are they resurrecting fucking Killmonger? I don't know. I, I, I'm very, very intrigued. Um, yeah, so that's our reaction for What If Episode 6. 
And now we're going to roll right into episode 7 and 8, so make sure you click on those videos when they pop up. Okay, love you guys. See you next time.